Hello everyone, this is Shishan. I hope you all are doing well today. As you can see on my screen, today we'll be going to discuss regarding AWS CloudFront, its concept, and a short demo where I'll be creating a CloudFront distribution with the help of S3 Bucket as an origin server. CloudFront is one of our CDN network present over market provided by AWS. When I say CDN, it's a content delivery network and one of my favorite module. Reason being, we'll be getting more benefits if we implement this solution in terms of performance, protecting application from DDoS attack, higher availability of an application and many more. Till now, I have used two CDN. One is Akamai and CloudFront and I would say both are leader in market of CDN network. So let's review a few points regarding CloudFront. As I said, Amazon CloudFront is a fast content delivery network service that securely delivers your data, do the video streaming, applications, and APIs to the customer at global level with low latency and higher transfer speed. So what we want in terms of user experience, better speed, better performance and secure. So we are getting everything with CloudFront. It's integrated with AWS, both physical locations that are directly connected with AWS global infrastructure as well as other services, which are other services, basically with AWS Shield, which is for DDoS mitigation, Amazon S3, Elastic Load Balancing, or EC2 as your origins for application. And you can use Lambda as well to run a custom code closer to your customer location for better user experience. And lastly, in terms of costing, if you use AWS origins such as uh, S3 or EC2 or ELB, you don't have to pay for any data transferred between these services and CloudFront. So we are getting everything. We are protecting our application from DDoS. We are giving a higher availability of an application to the user. So anything happened to my origin server, I can have my application available with the help of CloudFront as well. So these are the things we'll be getting with CloudFront and very useful. So I have created a few diagrams where uh, I'll gonna show you what is the need of CloudFront. So this diagram shows like application hosted without CDN every request is going to my origin server directly. Let's say my hosted application on the origin server is in US and I have users all over the globe. So it's quite obvious that user from US region will get faster response and from other regions like Europe or Asia Pac will get slower response as compared to US because the distance is quite farther from US, right? Even my origin server will get exposed if some DDoS attack happen. Another case scenario in terms of a high availability, let's say my origin server goes down. Obviously my application will gonna go down and user will get irritated that we have given you a contract for hosting an application and you are not able to perform in the way that we have expected. Our origin server is not working, it's getting down every other day. So what is the mitigation or what is the solution to reduce the latency, to improve the performance, to protect your data and to have a high availability solution? For that, we have CDN network. So this diagram is basically showing an application hosted with CloudFront distribution implementation now, how CloudFront's distribution will improve the performance of an application. So there is a concept of edge location, which basically are the servers at nearest user locations. So this is my origin. These are the edge locations or edge servers that are present near, the, near to the user locations. So whenever user hits a website, instead of requests going directly to the origin server, the request will get from the edge locations to the users. So what happens, edge locations or edge servers basically caches the object within it. And from there, whenever you hit a website, 
you will get faster response. So let's say this particular origin is hosted in US and I have a user across the globe. So across the globe, we have edge locations as well. So if we have CloudFront distribution as a CDN implemented for my application, then for the first time, whenever user hits, obviously the request will directly go to the origin server. And whenever from there next time, user hits the website, they will get a cache response. Obviously the static content that we have, will gonna get those response as fast as possible. Okay. Even in terms of an high availability, let's say my origin server is down. So we have a cache TTL as well. We can set it to 24 hours or as per our requirement. Let's say my origin server is down and we need some time to rectify origin server. So, and I have a TTL set for 24 hours. Till 24 hours, my application will be available to the users from my CloudFront distribution or any other CDN network. So this is my personal experience that I have faced where my origin server or the data center was having an issue and we have implemented the Akamai as a solution for our, us and the TTL was set around 24 hours. So application was still available to the users for 24 hours, although we rectified everything within four to five hours, but my user was like happy with us. We, do, we are not facing an issue with the application high availability. So these are the things that we can uh, get a benefit from the CDN network, even with the cloud front distribution. Another diagram shows like we have an origin server and edge location all over the globe. We have users, whenever user hits, it, he will get a response from the edge locations. So response is faster to all the users, regardless of uh, hosting an application to US data center, the Europe one as well will get a faster response with their edge locations near it to that particular area. So that's it guys for this particular uh, theoretical part. I hope this clears a lot in terms of uh, why to use CloudFront distribution and why it is important. So now the time for practical demo. So for that, we're gonna go to our AWS management console. So first of all, I'm gonna show you uh, the S3 bucket. So I'm going to use S3 bucket as an origin server. I'm not going to spin up any EC2 instance as of now. So I have a lot of S3 bucket present uh, with me. So let's say config test 2011 is one of my S3 bucket. So I have cloud former template test and we have uh, test.txt so if we browse this let's see what we get this is access denied okay fine so let's download this file or yeah let's download this file just wanted to show you what we have in this file we have only a text called welcome okay so we'll be using this bucket as our origin server in our CloudFront distribution. So for that, go to the services, go to my VPC, I'm in the network area. We have CloudFront, open in a new tab. Again, this will gonna take few milliseconds to come up. So this is how CloudFront distribution or CloudFront console looks like. So first of all, we have to create a distribution. So click on create distribution. So we have two options, web and RTMP. So RTMP is mostly for having a video streaming where you can uh, use, uh, you can create a distribution with RTMP. So as of now, I am not going to do that. We'll be going to have a web distribution created. So as you can see, create a web distribution if you want to speed up your distribution of static or dynamic content, for example, HTML, CSS, PHP, graphic files, distributed media on HTTP, HTTPS, add, update, delete objects, and live streaming. And for RTMP, it's basically distribu distribution for your streaming media files using uh, Adobe Flash Media Server as an RTMP protocol. So let's click on get started with web. Now here we have an op certain options to cover up. So we have to give our origin settings. So we have to give our origin domain name. So if you click on the 
blank area this will gonna give the drop down the options that we have we have ECS we have uh, so once you have uh, elastic load balancer EC2 you will get that options as well so for this video I'll gonna use config test 2000 double one double one because that has my test.txt file origin part so my bucket is directly hosting this particular file so if something present like a folder structure inside this uh, bucket then we can give that location like slash folder name slash tx test.txt or some whatever the file name index.html this is my origin id which is fine you want to restrict a bucket access yes i want to do that i am going to create a new identity comment is access identity okay fine so let's say test I want to update a bucket policy as well yes so you can have your origin custom header name over here and every other option there is a little bit description present over here so just click on this particular icon this will give you a basic idea what these options are all about so all customer header keys values specify here will be included in every request of this origin if header was already supplied in the client request it is overridden so I'm not gonna give that as of now now the cache pattern I'm going to keep it as default star for everything viewer uh, protocol policy you want to run your application with HTTP and HTTPS both so you can do that or you can redirect HTTP to HTTPS so let's click this the allowed HTTP method get head or get head option and all the other options that we have field level of encryption config so you can do the encryption as well I don't have anything as of now cache HTTP method we have selected get and head which is by default cache base on selected request header so either you can do a whitelist or all or none which improves the caching so I'm gonna use that as default you can customize the TTL values from here so that totally depends upon the requirement that we are working on that project so for this video I'm gonna have the default setting applied for it I don't want to do any smooth streaming because I don't have a stream data you can do the forward uh, cookies as well then query string so these are the options that we have restrict viewer access you can do that then you can have a custom lambda created so the theoretical part that we have seen so let's go to our presentation here we have lambda at edge to run the custom code closer to the location so we can do that from here now price classes if you want to run it from uh, US, Canada, Europe or US, Canada, Europe, Asia, Africa or all edge locations. So obviously for uh, global users, we're going to use all edge locations. You can use WAF, which is your web application firewall, another module of AWS. And if you have any alternative names, subject alternative names like CNAME, you can implement over here, right? The default cloud certificate cloud front certificate if you have your own certificate then you can use that you can import from here supported methods http slash 2 1.1 1 .1 and 1.0 and distribution state is enabled ipv6 is also enabled so let's create distribution so these are the options that uh, we have where basically we're gonna get we, we can restrict our uh, access to certain locations we can have WAF implemented which is for uh, web application firewall or firewall implemented then we can use AWS shield we can have an origin of different types like S3 EC2 ELB we can do all those things so this will gonna take as you can see the status is in progress so this will gonna take like 10 to 15 minutes to uh, deploy the distribution. So I'm gonna pause this video. Once this distribution is done, I'm gonna resume the video and uh, we, I, I'll show you the URL. This is the domain name, the URL that we are getting. 
So we can, uh, once we hit this URL, we'll gonna see whether we are getting test.txt file response or not from S3 bucket. I'll, I'll be gonna pausing this video now. So welcome back. This CloudFront distribution, the status is deployed now. And this is a domain name that we have. So if you want to see or edit any settings, then uh, just select this and go to the distribution settings. And from here, you're gonna get everything, whatever you have done. So just edit it as per your requirement in near future. Let's say you want to modify something, then you can do it from here. Then you can set the origins as well. You can create another origin behaviors. You can uh, you can create a behavior as well. Like as of now, the pattern is everything star redirect behavior. You can change from HTTP to HTTPS. You, if you want everything to run on HTTP and HTTPS both, then you can do that. You can implement the custom pages as well. So instead of uh, giving response like 404, page cannot be displayed. Sorry, page cannot be found. You can create a custom page for a better experience, like pages not present with some images and everything. The restrictions can be done over here. As of now, it's disabled. You can do the invalidation of the objects as well. That basically uh, removes them from the CloudFront Edge locations, Edge caches, and the tagging. So let's go to our distribution and copy our domain name so let's see if we are getting something or not so for that let's go to this is my channel analytics basically so let's see first if our uh, so we have our we haven't provided test.txt file as a default page so i'm just hitting it like this and we're gonna check two things whether we are getting response as welcome and HTTP is getting redirected to HTTPS or not. That's why I have, I'm not using HTTPS directly. So let's hit this. Here we go. We are getting a response welcome from the test.txt file. If you set it as default, then you will you don't have to type this file. Then go to your uh, certificate. Certificate is valid. And this is cloudfront.net, the default one that we have used. Another thing I just want to show you. Let's open our developer tool. Let's go to network and hit this again. So this is our text.txt file, right? Now, let's see what we have. The cache, x cache is hit from CloudFront. So that means our data is coming from CloudFront and our origin is Amazon S3. It's not showing the bucket although, but it's showing the origin is something coming from Amazon S3. So you can test this by using your developer tool, like what is the origin server, whether the response is getting cached from CloudFront or not. So this is one of the way of testing the CloudFront distribution as well. Okay, so that's it guys for this particular video. Try this particular CloudFront distribution on your account. Create your static website on uh, S3 and route it via CloudFront distribution or create or host your application on EC2 instance having ELB as a load balancer and try to create your uh, CloudFront distribution as ELB as origin or S3 or EC2 directly as origin. As this is one of the best module in terms of application performance, high availability and every other related settings that we can do and the best thing that uh, every customer what every customer wants like better performance better experience high availability right so whenever you host something you need to have a higher high availability solution so yep that's it for this particular video try it out on your account and if you have any concern just place out a comment in the comment section i'll be there to reply back as soon as i can have a nice day. Bye-bye.